Hi, my name is Vinci, and today um, we'll be focusing on um, summer activities. Um, who are we here with? Millie. I'm Aiden. Okay. First question is, how has your summer been? My summer has been okay. It's been pretty busy. My summer's been pretty decent. Uh, a lot went on. Had a couple jobs. Anyway. Okay, okay. And I'm aware that you are here with the Richard Camp Center and you did the Summer Racial Justice Academy before this. So how did how is the work you did here at the Richard Camp Center different than the work you did at the Summer Racial Justice Academy? Well, at the Summer Racial Justice Academy, we had a lot more people to work with. And so it wasn't kind of just the same people each time. It was like different ideas from different people. And at the Camp Center, it's like the same people each time we work. And so it's kind of like a like thinking and not that much different thoughts from different people. Uh, the Summer Racial Justice Academy is more school-based and uh, focused. And at the Richard Kemp Center, you don't really have those kind of limits. Like, like budget-wise, like at the Summer Racial Justice Academy, we were given stuff to do. At the Richard Kemp Center, we were told to come up with ideas and then make those ideas a reality. Mm. Great, great. Now, what do you hope to accomplish before this upcoming school year? Um, I hope to get more of like a change in the community and get more news out there. Okay, Aiden? Uh, I'm sorry, can you repeat the question for me? What do you hope to accomplish before this upcoming school year? Uh, before the upcoming school year, I hope to accomplish uh, staying awake during class, I guess, or okay. at all. And um, I am aware that both of you are rising freshmen. And so what is something that you're nervous about before going like into the school year? Something that I'm nervous about before going into the school year is the hallways or like the main lobby area and having to leave the building or go up the stairs with a bunch of people going up the stairs at the exact same time because I don't like being rushed. Something I'm worried about is new school, new teachers, old people I s or old friends that I saw in like when I was in seventh grade, and I guess change. Mm. And what is something you're excited for? Um, something I'm excited for is getting to meet more mature people because in the middle school, people were not mature, like, at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something I'm excited about is being around a lot of my old friends that I made when I was in seventh grade and seeing how much they changed. Mm. And um, is there, like, any questions that have been on your mind about the high school? Not really. Okay, I think that's it. We're good. Keep going. All right, we can keep going. What has your experience been at the high school? Um, honestly, it has. Um, it's been greater. Like it's definitely better than middle school. I will say. Um, it's more like, I feel more. Like in middle school, they're just like always keeping tabs on us, and. Like, I think in high school, I feel like a little more free and like also having that, um, also having like um, four classes a day was definitely much easier because there was less homework. I mean, not really less, there would have been, it was not less homework than middle school, but like having eight classes a day was definitely more stressful because like, eight classes like that's a lot 
And so, yeah, I think the schedule change was definitely, it definitely worked really well for me. And yeah, that's basically my whole experience, to sum it up. Um, how do you think your experience at the high school would have been if it was in the old high school? Um, well, it definitely would have been different. Um, I think that, I feel like it would have been a little less stressful because it's a bigger building. And so, like, obviously our school's really small right now and it's, like, extra crowded and, like, the stairs and all that. Like, it's a little much at times. And, it, I mean, it gets loud. So, I guess if I did go to the actual, like, the original BHS, um, I probably would have liked being at a regular school better just because, like... You know, who doesn't want to be in an actual school instead of um, a mall? But, yeah. Um, at the high school, do you guys have, like, any dances or anything that, like, the freshmen and stuff can go to? Or? Yes. The first dance of the year is homecoming. Um, homecoming, personally, my first homecoming was really bad, really bad, really bad. Um, it was because it wasn't formal this year and they wanted to make it beach themed, but it's like October, like what are you gonna wear? Like, it didn't make any sense. But um, yeah, there's homecoming and I'm hoping it'll be good this year because, you know, I'm hoping it's like formal, you know, more of a dance. And then um, there's also winter ball and that, a lot of people really like winter ball because you know it's like at a hotel. It's like very formal. It's like I don't know. I didn't go personally, but it seemed really fun, and I wish I did go. Uh, do you think the teachers uh, gave enough help after school? Like, do you think they were able to provide enough help if you were missing a couple assignments or? Yes, it really just depended on the teacher because like for example my English teacher like she's she coaches like cross country and track so if I wanted to go get help from her after school then um, like she wasn't available but like for my sign teacher civics like they're always there so it it was much easier to get help from them if I like really needed it but there's also teachers like in the homework help center so I could just go to them and a lot of them like taught the same things. So I think you'll get the help that you need if you just communicate. All right, and I think that's all the time we have. Okay, welcome to Tea with CND. I'm Christina. I'm Nestra. And I'm Juna. Um, I'd like to start off with a really hot topic, um, which was, Last year's VHS basketball season. Um, I know we were all on the basketball team. Um, me and Elsa were on JV, and been, I mean, Juna here, <laughs> Juna here was on varsity, but um, I want to start with Juna. How was um, varsity like for you? Um, varsity was, um, it was interesting because I didn't have like a lot of friends on the team. And so I felt left out for a lot of the season. Um, and then also like playing in games. If like I messed up, then I wouldn't get past to oh. really for us the game. And then, yeah, just always feeling like you're doing something wrong and like mm. playing and stuff. But now this year, I'm much more confident. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Nasha, what would you, uh, oh my God. What would you, what would you think of our JV season? Um, <laughs> um, I'd say the team was excellent, like, it's a really fun group, but, um, Rob just took everyone, like, um, Who's had, Rob? <laughs> the, the coach of varsity. <laughs> His name's not Rob. I call him Rob. Okay. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, we had no point guard. So, Binti was a point guard, and Nankor was a point guard, and Kali was a point guard, but I don't think they like played point guard on their team, to my knowledge. So, 
they were, I'm pretty sure they were just like uh, second, like not like their team's main point guard. So I think that they weren't like as used to it as they like could have been. Yeah. Um, okay, so we literally lost all our games, JV. That was, it was, it was really, really humbling. And um, the team that we almost beat, they own, they're the, they're the only team that um, had like a second worst losing score because they only beat us. That's the only team they beat. So um, it was, <laughs> it's really bad. But anyways, um, back to my like next question. Um, how would you say like, what do you think that like the the dynamics gonna be between um, the incoming freshman and us versus the um, last year sophomore and us? Because I feel like we were like more friends with the sophomores, but I feel like this year we don't want to be friends with the freshmen. I feel like this year, um, I know for sure that there's gonna be three certain freshmen who are making varsity, um, and I know like people on varsity don't want that to happen just because I don't know they feel like they won't get as much playing time because of like also the girls who are transferring too so there might be a little saltiness when it comes to that but I feel like I don't know overall I feel like we're gonna win a bunch this year just because of who's transferring uh, yeah. are you gonna play Nusra? are you gonna play basketball um well I I don't really know. Uh, the team was fun, but I don't know if I can take losing every single game okay. for my mental health again. <laughs> well, you don't know if we're gonna lose about this year. Um, yeah, that team was bad for my mental health. <laughs> I got bullied every day about how we lost every single game. It was really embarrassing. Yeah, uh, and before that team, I had only lost one game ever in my life. Like. <sighs> Um, anyways, I think that, um, well, varsity was always, varsity is always going to be good. We, like, all the good people are still there. I mean, the seniors, no offense. There's only, um, like, two or three. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. There's but three, there's including I think three. this year our team is going to be really strong. We have a lot of good people and a lot of good incoming freshmen, I think. At least three, yeah. And yeah, I hope it's gonna be fun. And if I don't make varsity, we're not gonna play basketball, okay? Oh. Yeah. Um, 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 are you excited for your classes? Um, okay. I'm excited for most of my classes. I have a pretty good schedule this year, besides having PE first period for half of the school year. Um, I had to get rid of my free block because of that. But yeah, I'm excited. I have really good teachers this year as well. I just, I'm not excited for the homework ramping up though, because they say that the jump from freshman to sophomore year is very hard, um, homework wise, so. Um, yeah, I heard that there's a lot more homework, which I'm not excited for, but I'm not excited at all because my counselor literally hates me. <laughs> like, she didn't give me any classes that I asked for. Um, I'm with the same freaking racist teacher that tried to kick me out of honors the last week, the last quarter, because I was literally in the hospital. <laughs> but I told her, no, I need that honors credit, and I forced her to put me in honors, but I have her again. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Also, all the classes I asked for, all my little white friends got in them. Like, <laughs> it's not fair. Um, uh, I... I'm not excited at all. I literally have um, the worst class. Um, I'm taking French three. Mind you, I don't speak French at all. Um, my parents speak French, but they wanted to be stinged with that language, so I don't know any. And I have two science classes, and I have honors, algebra two, and I was really bad at algebra one. Like, I was really bad. I struggled to get that A. Usually I don't struggle in math, but I struggled with that A. I <sighs> It was the worst, and I had a dream about it, but we're not going to talk about that. But 
I heard my teacher's really nice. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about my teacher, but I'm just really bad at algebra. At least you got nice teachers. Yeah, I'm excited to see who's also. Like, Next question. Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Oh, what are you going to spend your money on? Um, money from I, where? You want to... What I your... did, I put a, almost $1,000 into my college fund. So it'll, wow, college fund. So it'll collect like interest and stuff like that or something. I don't know. Um, and then after that, I am going to... I don't know. I have like 1K just for myself. I guess I'm just gonna try to like build that money up throughout the school year, and so I can like buy things that I need. Um, okay. Yeah, necessities. Here you have um, more interesting things to say now, because I know you just bought a huge pack of dollars. <laughs> well, I've decided that I'm not gonna start saving until <laughs> I'm a sophomore because that's when I turn 16, and there's more job opportunities as a 16 year old, at least where we are. Um, cause, and um, I don't really need savings as of right now because I'll have a job during the school year, which is how I get my spending money. Um, and last year, I just spent all my money on like dumb stuff, like, cause I decided to save it like a fool, and I just spent it all on dumb stuff, like candy or something and food. <laughs> if you want to save it, then put it. And like anyway, anyway, oh. I, anyway, um, yeah. So I've decided to just like buy I buy out my cart and just buy Bye. and just buy stuff for like um, my hobbies and stuff. That's that's good. What did you spend? That was seven hundred dollars. I remember you telling us that the other day. Yeah. Um. Okay. Um. I, I don't me. I don't quite remember. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, well, um, there's literally only one thing I want to buy, which is my phone and maybe another pair of shoes. I have a lot of clothes already. Um, but yeah, thanks. That wraps up our session with. Um, okay, okay. I, I guess not. It doesn't wrap it up. But. I, oh, I also want my Juicy Couture tracksuit. That's um, a must-have. Like, I'm really serious. I must have it. <laughs> like, I've been thinking about it all year, and I didn't get it, so I must have it. No matter if I have to spend $200, I'm getting it. Um, I'm definitely getting a new phone and um, maybe one other pair of sneakers. That's really it. Or like, like a, or like a backpack or something. Just like necessities and, mm -hmm. yeah. Cause I literally have like 2K to spend to myself and like one in savings, so yeah. I wanna buy a new pair of basketball shoes. Of course you do. Okay, well. Didn't you already get it like? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> but I want another one. Also, um, I don't know, a bunch of basketball stuff. Me? Um, I'm spending 200 on shoes. Um, I'm spending like, um, a thousand something just buying stuff that I want. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. What's oh, and I want? gave 200 to my mom. Oh, that's very generous of you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, thanks for joining us on Tea with CND. Good afternoon and welcome. I am Reverend Mark Hughes. I am the host of Juxtaposition. I'm also the executive director of Vermont Racial Justice Alliance. I'm joined by Alex Gordon. Hey, what's going on, Alex? Not much, man. How are you, Mark? Thanks for coming. Thanks for uh, hanging out with us. Uh, you've been with us the whole summer uh, with the um, with our youth, with our Quiet summer youth onset. internship. I'm wondering. Um, Quiet you, onset. Oh, I thought we already started. We already started. started. Yes. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Well, so, so, 
good afternoon. Hi, I'm Reverend Mark Hughes. I'm the, the executive director of the Vermont Racial Justice Alliance. I'm also your host, uh, your weekly host, Juxtaposition. I know um, it was, I think it was just last week we had uh, Aiden on Juxtaposition. Maybe we'll invite you back too. I'm joined here with um, my guest. This is Alex Gordon. Alex, you have been with us all summer, I guess for the last, what, four or five weeks yeah, uh, with the right. internship. You've been enjoying yourself? It's been a great time doing lots of productive work, getting out in the community. Yeah, tell me about some of the things that you've been doing. Oh, well, right now I'm on sort of a committee to put together a community care basket, mm -hmm. you know, looking at providing some essentials for people out there that, you know, might not have them. Right, right. We're also working on an initiative to provide people with the resources to know how to operate cameras like the one in this studio here. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know some of the work that we've been doing has been about uh, surrounding wellness. We've been having a lot of conversations um, about wellness. Uh, so, and we're also talking about you know some of some of the initiatives that we'd want to do in order to address wellness in our schools. Uh, you want to share some of your thoughts on on that and, and what you're thinking about it? Yeah, I know a couple of people with the um, racial justice. They're looking at putting together a, a black affinity space over at BHS, if mm -hmm. I'm right. Yeah. Um, I think that's a great idea. We haven't had one there since I've been there. I don't think mm -hmm. we've had one ever, and right. I think it's a really important resource for people that are members mm -hmm. of the BIPOC community to be able to release some of their pent up emotions. Absolutely, you're, you're a rising uh, sophomore, right? That's correct. Yeah, you excited about that? Excited, and that's one word you could use for it. Mm -hmm. um, as aforementioned by a couple of people that were on here previously, there is a lot more homework involved, and mm -hmm. I'm currently enrolled in all honors courses. Woo! And I'm over okay. at the tech center too. So. You're at the tech center? Yeah. How's that? Tell me a little bit about the tech center. Oh, um, I'm in the pre-tech program, uh -huh. so it's not focused on any general area. It's more of a broad scope or a mm -hmm. preview of a bunch of different fields in the career of engineering. Mm -hmm. So, you know, looking at programming, um, prototyping, 3D printing, and, you know, design, stuff like that. I mean, the tech center, I've heard a lot about it. I mean, your biggest aspirations for a year, I mean, we just got a, a couple minutes, uh, just about a minute in closing. What, what are you looking forward to most this school year? This school year? Yeah. Honestly, the tech center is a big one. I'm also yeah. looking at applying to a powered flight academy, maybe down in uh, either Springfield or across the lake in New York. Ooh, ooh, you got some air time, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. I do got some air time. How, how many hours have you logged so I far? I have about four or five hours right now. Four or five hours, it seems like a short period of time, but four, four or five hours in the air is a lot of time. I'll, I'll run you a lot of money too. <laughs> I wanna thank you for joining. I'm so glad I had the opportunity to hang out with you today, this afternoon, and also, obviously, with the uh, summer internship. It's been great, Alex, thank you for coming. It's been amazing, thank you, Mark. That's it, that's all we got for you, it's a wrap, folks. That's a